Okay. So welcome to um, the second part of today's video. If we take a look at the whiteboard, um, I listed some food items that you would see in your kitchen, right? So I wrote food in my kitchen. I have, there are apples, eggs, carrots, cookies, coffee, bread, juice, and rice. So these are um, items that you should know about. Now I'm going to draw a vertical line, okay? Vertical line. And making two columns. So this is column one, for, or first column. This is column two, or second column. Okay, so can you see um, the difference between the first column and the second column? Take your time and just think about it. The first column and the second column. So the First column are items that um, you can count. So, for example, apples, right? If we have one apple, we say one apple. But if there are more than one apple, for example, let's say five, then we say five apples. For eggs, same thing. If there's one, one egg. And let's say there are 24 eggs. Then we say 24 eggs. Right? Carrot. There's one carrot. And then it could be multiple carrots. So we say carrots. A simple way of looking at this is uh, when you compare the first column and the second column, you see that uh, these food items have the letter S. added to the nouns. So this S be helps a noun to become plural. So singular to plural. And then these are items that we can count. And then, so we call these count nouns. Or we can call them count nouns. Count noun. So count nouns can be written in singular form or plural form because we can count on them. So a singular form. Singular form or plural. Then what about the second column? Second column. Coffee, bread, juice, rice. We call these non-count nouns. Non-count nouns. Non count because in English we don't say uh, one coffee. Okay, there's not one coffee. Or there is, you don't say three coffee. There's no one bread. There's no 
four juice, or even two rice, one rice, three rice. No? These are items that you can't not you can't count. And so that's why uh, if you see the difference again here, there are no S's. Right? For count nouns, we can use singular and in plural form. For but for non-count nouns such as these, uh, we are not able to use uh, plural form. So no plural. Okay. So I can label first column as count noun and the second column as non-count noun. Um, uh, with that in mind, um, we're going to go over uh, more specifics about count nouns and non-count nouns. Okay, give me a second. Okay. So I drew a, uh, a quick uh, summary chart of count and non-count nouns because that's going to be our focus for the second part of the, uh, today's video. So for the count, uh, as I said before, you can say two apples, three eggs, four cookies. Um, so if, and then we can say one apple, one egg, one cookie. And then if we were to, um, if we were to ask uh, questions about um, using uh, count nouns, we use how many. So for example, we have a question here, how many eggs do we need? And the answer could be, we need one egg, one egg. So here is one, so it's singular. So we don't need to add the letter S to eggs, egg. Another answer, if it's more than one egg, we can say, for example, we need 24 eggs. We need 24 eggs. And it's plural, more than one, so this is where you add S to the uh, your count now. And finally, uh, let's say we don't need any, then we just say we don't need any. So what, uh, a thing you have to remember about count nouns are it can be singular and it can be plural, okay? And then you need to, so you need to uh, make sure that they're, um, for plurals, you need to uh, add letter S to the count nouns. Now going back to the non-count, uh, examples of non-count nouns are sugar, coffee, flour. So there's no way, or there's no uh, saying in English where we can say one sugar. So there's no such thing as one sugar. Five coffee? No. Three flour? Nope. We don't say any of that. So then, is there a way to measure them? Like, if we count one egg to 24 eggs, is there a way for us to uh, quantify or say, uh, give some kind of measurement for sugar, coffee, or flour? And there is, there are. So here, uh, these are some ways to measure, and there are many ways, but I'm gonna show, show you the example. For sugar, uh, you're not able to say one sugar but you can use a, a measuring unit. For example here, I say one tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of sugar. Here, instead of five coffee, we say five cups of coffee. Cups of coffee. So there are five cups of coffee. For flour, three bags of flour three bags of flour. So, and then there's gonna be question, um, when we're using, when we ask about question uh, for non-count, we say how much. So, question how much rice do we need? The answer could be, we need a lot of rice. 
we can't count them so we say a lot or small or little and another um, way of answering is we need four pounds of rice four pounds so this time I use pound as the uh, measuring unit to describe uh, how much of rice that we need so we need four pounds of rice you know, there there isn't like only one way of describing a, a four uh, measuring unit because you can say we need four instead of four pounds of rice we can say four bags of rice that's okay too you know there's another way of uh, kind of measuring the item or non count nouns and here as I mentioned before um, since it's non count nouns um, there are no plural form of it so, so this is a basic rules for count and non count nouns that you need to remember and uh, since this is a basic uh, summary of about count and non count we're gonna do some exercises okay okay so I made some exercises that we can do so number one complete the chart here we have singular first column is all singular and the second column is for plural so I want you to uh, or we are going to change the singular form singular nouns to plural so orange orange is going to be oranges so in plural oranges right onion very simple same thing or you just need to add the letter s to make it plural so onions strawberry strawberry the singular form of strawberry uh, we need to turn to plural so how do we do that we need to letter uh, add the letter s but there's a catch the, there's a y at the end strawberry has a letter y so in order to add the letter s we need to change it to IES. So, plural form of strawberry is ST. So, here in singular form, you have strawberry. At the end is a Y, but we need to change. In order to add the letter S, we need to change to IES for Y. So strawberries. What about mango? Mango. We say mangoes. N G O E S. Here. Mango ends with letter O. And in order to make it into a plural form, we need to uh, add ES. Mangoes, M A N G O E S. Pi, pi, for pi, you just need to add the letter S. So, pies. Pretty simple, huh? Number two, use the nouns above to fill the chart. So these are the nouns. We have honey, pasta, tomato, pie, juice, broccoli, tea, rice, hot dog, apple, sandwich. So some things that we can count. Let's see, honey. 
Honey is something that we can or uh, is non count, non count. So, honey. Pasta uh, is non count. So if uh, tomato, we can say one tomato, two tomatoes, three tomatoes. So it, it can be in form of singular and plural. So it is count now, tomato. Pie, pie, singular and plural. So it's count now, pie. Juice, juice, drinks are something that we cannot count. So it's gonna be here, juice. J U I C E. Broccoli is a vegetable that we can count. Broccoli. Tea is also part of a drink, it's something that we can count. T A. Rice is non count. Hot dog. We can count hot dogs, right? One hot dog, two hot dogs. So hot dogs gonna be count. Apple is countable. Sandwich as well. There are one sandwich, two sandwiches. So, mm, I'm gonna write it here. Sandwiches, yeah. So, count nouns are tomato, sandwich, pie, broccoli, hot dog, apple. No count. Honey, pasta, juice, tea, and rice. Okay, and we have one more exercise. One more exercise. We have one more exercise, number three. Uh, complete the questions and answers. Here we have summer salad recipe. You know, in order to create the salad, we need to have these ingredients. So four carrots, one cup of orange juice, three apples, and one tablespoon of sugar. So number one, A, how blank carrots do I need? You need blank. So here I just want, it's an exercise where uh, we use the how many and how much uh, for the question. And then when we answer, uh, we answer according to how many or how much uh, the ingredient we have in here. So here, it's talking about carrots. So carrots are something that we can count because it can be in singular form and plural. So how we say how many? How many carrots do I need? You need, here it says four carrots. So four carrots. Yeah, sorry for my bad handwriting. So how many carrots do I need? You need four carrots. Number two, blank question mark, we need blank orange juice. So we need to come up with a question with orange juice and orange juice is something, uh, is a non-count now. So we have to say how much, how much, orange juice uh, 
so I didn't have enough space. So how much orange juice do we need? Question mark. The reason I use we as a subject is because the answer says we need blank orange juice, right? So we need, or we look at oranges, one cup of oranges. So we say one cup of orange juice. So number three, a blank question, B answer is blank apples. So it's something to do with apples. So we can just create uh, any questions that we want. Um, respect to apples here. So apples is something that we can count. So I'm going to say how many apples do we need how many apples do we need and the answer is that we need so we go back to the ingredients we need three apples so we need three three apples four uh, blank question answers blank sugar so something that's sugar so sugar is non count noun so we have to ask, say how much how much much sugar Do I need? Yeah, so about that. Yeah, I don't have enough space, so I'm gonna do this. Question mark. How much sugar do I need? I need. Here, one tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon spoon of so I need one tablespoon of sugar. So this exercise is to help you um, using uh, the question many and uh, much, how many, how much, uh, to uh, make a statement or answer the questions in regards to the non-count or count nouns. Okay, so that's it for this video, which is uh, part two. Um, now, I want you to complete unit seven, lesson B, exercises on page 85, and 86 uh, using what we learned just right now and I'll go over the exercise uh, this is in part 3 of today's video thanks for watching